first thing uh, you want to do when you're about to decontaminate your boat is to take a walk around your boat and actually inspect it. You know, see if there's any problem areas on the boat, um, or if you actually see something like a zebra mussel attached, you'll know exactly where to go when you decontaminate it. So to do that, the best way to, to work, and this is throughout this whole process, is from bow to stern on one side, bow to stern on the other side, and then the back of the boat, and then finally the inside of the boat. Um, so once you're done with that uh, inspection process, uh, you can move on to the actual decontamination. Um, so decontamination, there's a, a few different parts to a decontamination. When we do a decon or a decontamination, we actually start on the inside of the boat and work our way to the outside of the boat. So to decontaminate an interior compartment like a live well or a bilge, we use 120 degree water and we let that, wa that container uh, start to fill up. And as soon as that water hits 120 degrees coming out of the port on the bottom of the boat, we count to 90 seconds, and when that 90 seconds is up, that compartment is considered decontaminated. So again, same for live wells, bilges, anything else that's inside the boat. Um, also, any part of the boat that has a pump, if you're uh, decontaminating that, you'd want to use 120 degree water. When you get to the outside of the boat, so the hull or the trailer, that's where you can crank up the water temperature to about 140 degrees, um, and it would work the same way. So we spray the hull from the bow to the stern on one side, and bow to the stern on the other side. 140 degree water would kill a zebra mussel in about 10 seconds of contact time. So we use overlapping strokes and take our time to make sure we cover the entire boat. Um, and then on the back of the boat, we use, still use that hot water, um, but we use low pressure because the, com the components in the back of the boat on the engine and the gimbal are made of rubber and plastic sometimes, so we don't want to, to puncture that or ruin that with high pressure water, so we use the low pressure water there. If you don't have access to hot water, the best place you could probably go would be to a car wash. You know, you're, you're probably not going to be killing something with that water because it isn't reaching those 120 and 140 degree temperatures, uh, but you would likely remove it from your boat, which is a, a, goes a long way to slowing the spread to other lakes. If you can remove it, and that's a big part of this prevention effort. I have a lot of people asking about additives, and we even talked about it, vinegar, or ammonia, or any validity, any assistance with anything like that. You know, some of those things, they do work, they would kill mussels, you know, you hear a lot of times you hear ammonia and bleach, um, but the problem there is that it takes about four hours of contact time to actually kill and, and break down that mussel shell. So it works, but you need a lot of time and a lot of chemical to, to, to get the job done. So we have decontamination crews across the state um, in all the different regions of South Dakota. At Lewis and Clark Lake specifically, they, these crews do exit inspections, so that's to make sure that any AIS, like zebra mussels, stay at Lewis and Clark Lake, they don't spread beyond there. Um, and then out in other parts of the state, we actually do entrance inspections where any boat that comes into a lake, um, our crews will be there, they'll inspect that boat, and most often you'll be past that inspection in two, three minutes and back on your way to boating. So it's a pretty pain-free process and it goes um, a long way in our prevention efforts to get these things done. The easiest way for an everyday boater to slow the spread is just to make sure that you have your plug pulled and you're not transporting water away from a lake. You know, lake water stays at the lake that goes, keeps those zebra mussels and, and other plants from hitchhiking to a new lake. 